guys, is that a tornado? <gasps> that thing is huge. And guys, I think it's heading towards us. Oh no, what do we do? It's gonna destroy our house. And, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, you're right. This house is not gonna be nearly enough to stop that tornado. Uh, guys, we gotta build a doomsday bunker. Uh, everyone start digging down. We need to go down, come on. Okay, um, further, go further. We gotta dig super far down. We gotta be protected from that thing. And uh, you guys, I don't think stone walls are gonna be strong enough. We gotta upgrade these walls around here. Everyone grab a little bit of obsidian. We gotta build the walls out of some obsidian. Okay, but I don't know if I can build it fast enough. We gotta be quick. That tornado looked like it was heading straight towards us. Come on, for now, we just gotta focus on building all these walls. Yep, here, come on. We just gotta keep going down like that. And wait a minute, did someone put a trap door at the top? We gotta make sure to close that up. There we go. All right, well, anyways, let's just keep working on these walls looking good. Oh, gosh, but wait, how far down do we have to go? I think this far down should be good enough. But guys, now we gotta start building the actual doomsday bunker. So here, everyone, let's start digging out some space. We gotta clear out a bunch of space for this thing. All right, I'll start mining this way. All right, all right, sounds good. And guys, we can actually do this really quickly. Let me just grab a magic wand really quick with slash slash wand. And now if I go over here in this corner and select this position, and then also go all the way over here in the opposite corner, let me select this position right over here and check it out. Now I can set all of this into some air. Boom, there we go. Now we have a bunch of space to work with. Oh yeah, that totally worked. <laughs> but wait, wait, guys, hold on, hold on. We should make this space a lot bigger. Let me just look down really quick. And now if I run the command slash slash stack, boom, check it out. Now we've got a bunch of space for our bunker. Hey, I just fell down really far. Yeah, now we've got a ton of space. And yeah, but guys, we've also got some weird stuff coming in. What in the world is this? Uh, we should probably cover up these weird caves. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty dangerous, actually. Yeah, but hold on a minute, guys. We also got to build the walls out of something nice. What should we build the walls out of? Uh, probably obsidian, right? We got to protect ourselves. And yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Obsidian is definitely going to be good. Here, let me just select the wall really quick. So there we go. And now if I just do slash slash walls obsidian, boom, there we go. We got obsidian walls. And guys, we should also do this for the roof and ceiling. Okay, I'll do the floor. All right, sounds good. Here, I'll do the roof. Let me just set the roof into some obsidian. Boom, there we go. That is looking pretty good. But hold on a minute, guys. I just realized we don't really have a ladder or anything to get down from here. What? Oh, gosh, yeah. We really just dug down far without thinking, huh? Oh, yeah. How are we supposed to get into our bunker? I guess what we could do is just extend this thing going all the way down over here. Then we could just have a ladder going up. That should be good. Okay, I'll put some ladders up here. Awesome. Sounds good. Here, let's just have these ladders going all the way up. And Okay, that is looking pretty good. All right, that is one long ladder. But what do we do next? And hmm, good question. Well, we've got all the basic bunker stuff now. Right now, we've kind of just got a big, uh, the basic obsidian box. But uh, guys, if we're going to make this a real bunker, we're going to need to live down here. So what do we need for living? Mm, well, we're definitely going to need something to eat. And oh, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Guys, we got to build a farm. That's going to be super important. And ooh, wait, why don't we just build a farm over here on the back? Oh, yeah, I guess we can. What we should do is let's just dig into the wall a little bit. Let me just dig a little bit this way over here. And here, I'm just going to set all of this to air. Boom. And why don't we build like the farm in this little area? This little area? This is a huge area. And oh, oh yeah. Well, you know, Ruby, we're going to need a lot of food if we're going to be living down here, right? We do not want to run out of food and have to go deal with the tornado. Okay, but we have to get rid of the, all this lava first. And yep, yep, yep. The first thing we got to do is set the wall. So let me just do slash slash walls. Obsidian. Boom. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And ooh, let's set this wall over here into some glass since we're already like kind of safe inside of the bunker. There we go. And ooh, that is looking pretty awesome. Yep, I'll do the roof real quick. And I'll fix the floor. All right, sounds good. And here, I'll add a little door so that we can actually get into this room. So let's just add that in right over here. And all right, sick. This room is starting to look awesome. But guys, now we got to actually build this into a farm. So uh, I guess the first thing we got to do is grab some water and hose. And wait, since we made this farm so big, we can make this like a multi-level farm. Ooh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. We could have like one floor for wheat. We can have another floor for carrots and... <gasps> Wait a minute. That gives me a really good idea. Guys, why don't we build an automatic farm that automatically, like, harvests the crops for us? What? automatic farm? I've never built one of those before. Yep, yeah, that doesn't sound real. And Oh, guys, trust me, trust me. It's really simple. All we gotta do is just dig one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks this way and then place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dirt. We just gotta keep doing this until we get all the way up to the wall there. Uh, okay, I'll just follow you. All right, all right, yeah, here, everyone, let's just go ahead and do this for the entire farm really quick. And pretty much the way that this is gonna work is we can have a dispenser over here at the top of the farm with some water inside of it. And check it out. Whenever we activate the dispenser, the water is going to go down the entire farm and harvest all the crops for us. But I, I, I think we actually have to finish building it first. Oh, wait, this is going to be so 
cool when it's done. All right, well, I guess I'll start down here. Let's go. This thing is actually looking sick, guys. We're gonna be able to put so much food on here. All right, we only have a few more blocks left, and uh, there we go. Let's go. This is looking sick, but guys, now we've got one more problem. Uh, we need to water this entire thing because we can't have a farm without water. So, hmm, what are we gonna do about that? Oh, actually, what we could do is let me just grab some obsidian, and we could just have like a little line going down the middle of the farm with some water inside of it. Yeah, I'll grab a water bucket and I'll start filling this in. All right, all right, go for it. And hey, oh, yeah, hold on, wait, I'm not done yet. The water is gonna leak. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Oh, I thought you were done. I'd hurry it up. I am, I am. Okay, here we just gotta keep going over this way. Let's go. And hold on a minute. Is this water gonna be able to reach all of the blocks? Um, I guess the only way to know is to test it out. And yeah, yes, all right here. Let's just go ahead and try hoeing a bunch of this land over here. And all right, I guess we'll see if the land dries out or not. And ooh, wait, hold on. I don't think it's gonna dry out, guys. It's actually looking pretty promising. And oh wait, no, one of the blocks dried out over here. Oh man. Here, how about we build one other water stream on each side of the farm? That way we can have some extra water. Oh, yeah, I'll put this one over here hidden in the wall so we keep more farmland. And ooh, ooh, good idea, good idea. That sounds awesome. Here, I'm just gonna work on this one over here. Can I put the water down? And oh, yeah, uh, go for it, Ruby. I'm almost done here. I just gotta put down a little bit more obsidian. And all right, yeah, you can go for it now. All righty, here I go. Awesome, but wait a minute, guys. We should also make sure to cover all of them up with obsidian, kind of like this one, because we don't want the water from the dispensers leaking off to, like, other sides of the farm. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that over here. And then I'll do it from down here. Epic sounds good here. I'll do it over here like this. We just gotta put down a bunch of obsidian. Looking good. And all right, I think that should be good. And wait a minute, hold on. Did you really build a water channel hidden inside of the wall? <gasps> that is looking awesome. Yep, and I am done completely now. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, guys, now it's time to get to hoeing. We gotta start hoeing all of this land. Let's go. And in fact, there's a much faster way we can do this. Let me just select this position over here and also this other position right over here. And if I run the command slash slash replace grass with some farmland boom there we go instant farm that is looking awesome what that's so cool now all we need to do is add some light and oh yeah yeah you're right you're right i kind of completely forgot about the light because if we try planting our crops without the light then it's not gonna work and wait ruby did you just stop all over the farm oh i got a little excited sorry wait a minute guys how about we just grab a few sea lanterns and we can just replace all of the obsidian here into some sea lanterns because these blocks don't have to be obsidian and, and wait, is this gonna give us enough light? And oh, let's go. That works perfectly. This is awesome. And the sea lanterns are so cute. Oh, yeah. This is looking sick. I guess I'll just uh, take this all the way down. Awesome. Sounds good here. I'll start over here on this side. We just gotta replace all of this with some sea lanterns. Looking good. And all right. Now we should be able to plant all of our seeds wherever we want. So I, I guess for this first row of the farm, should we just do all wheat? Uh, I guess. Uh, wheat's kind of boring. Can we have strawberries instead? Uh, uh, wait, what? Strawberries? You can actually get those? Yeah, look it up. Why would we have strawberries? Wheat is so useful. And yeah, wait, hold on, Ruby. I think wheat is a little bit more important than strawberries because you can use wheat to make bread. You can use it for, like, feeding cows, horses, uh, sheep, all that sort of stuff. What? Can we at least have one row of strawberries? What? Okay, how about we make a row of strawberries on the next floor of the farm since we're going to have multiple floors? Oh, I forgot that it was going to be a multi-level farm. Yep, yep. It's going to be a multiple level farm. So I guess on one of the floors we can have strawberries but anyways this farm is actually looking pretty sick i think all of the crops have been planted on my side what about on this side and ooh, this is looking nice yeah they're all planted but uh wait how are we supposed to collect all of these crops once they're grown and, oh good question pretty much what we need to do is go over here to the end of the farm and let me just grab a few hoppers and here now what we gotta do is dig down over here a little bit and then underneath all of this we have to put down a few hoppers oh, all right I, let me grab some hoppers and i'll hop on this side. All right. All right. Sounds good here. Let's go ahead and cover up this water. We don't really need it flowing in over here right now. So there we go. Looking pretty good. And ooh, guys, we can make a collection chest all the way over here. This can be where we actually collect all of our resources and stuff. All right. And then we can have like a hopper line going up over here. Ooh, all right. This is looking really awesome. Yep. This is actually looking sick here. I guess we can put down our collection chest right over there like that. And now whenever we drop something inside of one of these hoppers, it should end up in the collection chest all the way over here. Let's see. Is it going to work? Come on. And hey, there we go. Check it out. The hopper ended up in the chest. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, do we want to do a test run? Well, we're almost done, but we can't really do a test run yet because uh, we don't really have all the dispensers set up. So that's the next thing we got to do. Everyone grab one of these dispensers and we got to put a dispenser going around the entire farm. Uh, okay. Uh, like that? Yep. Just like that. And hold on. 
are all of these filled up with water buckets? Yup, it looks like they are. Okay, perfect. Now what we gotta do is pull up over here right behind them. And let me just grab a little bit of redstone. And here, let's just go ahead and connect all of these together with some redstone. All right, I'm following. Okay, now what? Now the next thing we gotta do is make this redstone line go all the way down to our little control room down there. So uh, here, let's go ahead and just have this redstone line going all the way down here. We also gotta make sure to throw in a few repeaters just for good measures. Oh yeah, I'll make this part over here look pretty nice. Oh yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. Also, you should probably make sure to cover up the walls with obsidian because, uh, you know, this is supposed to be a doomsday bunker. Already on it. Let's go. All right, well, here, let's start putting down all of this redstone like that. And okay, it should be about done. Now what I need to do is grab a button. And if I put that right over here, whenever I press this button, all of the water should start flowing. So uh, guys, should we test it out? Can I press the button? And uh, yeah, Ruby, go for it. You can hit the button. Okay, here I go. Let's go and yes, check it out. It looks like it's working perfectly. The water is going down and harvesting all of the plants for us. And then the plants should end up inside of these hoppers down over here. Yes, that worked perfectly. Well, it's working. Do I have to press the button again? And oh yeah, yeah, you have to press it one more time to turn off the water. There we go. That is actually sick. And now we should have all of the crops inside of this chest right here. And oh, well, okay, right now they're kind of all seeds. We didn't really let them grow. But if we did actually let them grow, we would have had wheat here. Let's go. This is sick. It works. Yup, that is awesome. But guys, now we gotta actually, uh, you know, replant the entire farm. So let's get to doing that right now. That'll be easy. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we have to replant the seeds. Yeah, we probably should have tested it before we planted all those seeds. That's okay. This is nothing that we can't fix. And there we go. The entire farm has been fixed. Cool, but uh, can we have our strawberry farm now? And oh, yeah, right, the strawberry farm. Well, I guess we can start building the next layer of the farm now. All we gotta do is just go up over here and just uh, the build another layer. In fact, we can actually do this really quickly. Let me just select this position right here and then also go down here in the other corner and select this position. And now if I look up and run the command slash slash stack, I think this is gonna work. Let's try it out. And oh, okay, that wait, that kind of worked. No, wait, our, okay, it kind of worked, but uh, it looks like the water's kind of spilling. What, what, what went wrong? Oh, only this part went wrong. It didn't have a floor. Hold on, wait, let's just put down a floor there really quick. There we go. But other than that, did it work? Let me go up here and check it out really quick and Check it out. We've got like an exact replica of the first floor. And wait, wait, guys, hold on. I'm pretty sure I can stack this another time. Let me look up real quick and let me just do slash slash stack two and check it out. We've got three floors. And okay, that is actually looking awesome. Oh, we can have so many crops. Let's go. We're actually going to be able to fit so many plants in here. But hold on a minute. Uh, this is last layer up here, kind of broken to the ceiling. We should probably cover this up with obsidian. Oh, yeah. I don't want the tornado to touch our farm. And yeah, that would be pretty bad. Let's just do slash slash stack obsidian boom there we go that is looking pretty good and all right now i guess it's time to get to uh planting on these new layers of the farm oh yeah what should we have on the layers strawberries we need strawberries and uh, oh yeah yeah right, right right strawberries uh okay well here i guess we can have the second layer of the farm up over here be for strawberries so here let's just go ahead and get rid of all of this and wait a minute guys hold on why don't we get rid of all these plants using the button again good idea uh but this button's not set up and, oh yeah right hold on we gotta set up the dispensers again here everyone grab some more dispensers let's set up the dispensers on this layer and then we can use the buttons again so here let's just put down oh, oh wait yeah we have to put them over here on the floor how did you not remember your own design no, I, dude i i forgot okay uh, don't blame me but here we gotta put down all of this redstone over here there we go that is looking pretty good and hold on a minute guys we don't even need this big redstone line anymore what we could do is just dig down over here a little bit check it out let me grab a redstone torch real quick wait dash what are you doing check it out check it out pretty much what i'm gonna do is build a redstone torch stack Pretty much when you have multiple redstone torches stacked on top of each other, whenever the one at the bottom turns off, the one at the top is going to turn on. Oh, wait. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever someone presses the button all the way down over there, it should activate the water up here. So, uh, wait, Ruby, uh, would you like to press the button again? Yes. All right, all right. Go for it. And here, let's see. Is this going to work? It should turn on both layers of the farm. Let me go outside really quick and see this. And all right, go for it whenever you're ready. I already pressed it once, but I'll try again. And, wait, what? You did? And Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Remember that water spill we had earlier? Uh, it, it kind of broke uh, our redstone down here. L let's repair that really quick. There we go. All right. And three, two, one. Here we go. All right. 
it. Wait, is it, did it work? And oh, let's go. That actually worked. That is so awesome. But wait, hold on. Why didn't these two dispensers here work? Oh, they didn't have water buckets in them for some reason. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that, that's a small issue. That's super easy to fix. We just fixed it right there. And other than that, I'm pretty sure everything worked. Let's go. Now can we plant the strawberries, please? And oh, yeah, yeah. Now we can finally get to strawberry planting. Here, let me grab a few strawberry seeds really quick. And all right, guys, let's just make this entire layer of the farm into some strawberry seeds. Or actually, wait, hold on. This farm is like really big. Do we really need all these strawberries? Why don't we have like strawberries on this side? And then we can have like carrots or something on the other side. Oh, yeah. What should we have on the other side? Let's see. Uh, strawberries exist. So what else do we have? Ooh, can we have cucumbers? What? No, cucumbers suck. What, what about peppers? Wait, what? Peppers? Uh, okay, both of those are kind of weird. I'm not sure if like those are that important. What about carrots? What? No, we need peppers. We need some spice. What? Is spice really more important than carrots? Like you can use carrots for breeding pigs and stuff. And oh, you're already planting the peppers, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you are. We're gonna need some spiciness. I'm not eating bland food all the time. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can plant some peppers. Let's just have this side of the farm be dedicated only to peppers. Let's go. I wonder what these peppers are gonna look like once they're fully grown. Uh, probably very spicy. Well, I said what they're gonna look like, not what they're gonna taste like. Probably gonna look very spicy. Uh, how does something look very spicy? What have you told me? You haven't seen something that looks spicy? Uh, no, not really. I, I kind of spice is kind of like a taste for me, not a look. Uh, well, then you're going to the wrong places. What the? Okay, well, uh, anyways, guys, I think this layer of the farm should be done. Now let's go and move on to the next layer, which is up over here. And this is the final layer. So let's see, what should we plant on here? And guys, can we plant some carrots on this one? Yeah, probably some carrots and potatoes. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Yep, let's go. Carrots and potatoes are gonna be awesome. And wait, wait, hold on a minute. Uh, we've still got a lot of wheat on this layer. I think uh, it's time to press the button again. We, we gotta set that up real quick. Oh man, but we just finished planting down here. And, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. We probably should have planted all of our crops after we're done with the farm. Uh, okay, let's just set it up one more time and then we can plant the crops again later. Uh, fine. All right, well, here, let's go ahead and set all of this up again. We gotta grab a little bit more redstone and repeaters and just set all of this up really quick. There we go. I already set up the redstone torch stack for this layer, so it should be ready. And oh, what you did? Nice. That's looking pretty good. And all right, should we take it for a test now? Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, if you want to go press the button. All right, all right, here. Let me just go ahead and break this line right over here. We don't need this anymore. Seems I'm pressing it again. And, uh, uh, you literally press it every time, but sure, I guess you can press it again. Go for it. Let me just stand outside over here. And all right, whenever you're ready, you can press the button. Here I go. All right, all right, here we go. <gasps> okay, the first two layers are working. Is the top layer working? And yes, that worked. That is actually so cool. And check it out, check it out. It's gonna make all the water go down over here with the plants, and then they're all gonna end up in the hoppers. That is awesome. Uh, except for this part. What the heck is going on here? And, whoa, but yeah, it looks like the water is kind of like overflowing backwards. What in the world? That's so weird. I'm, I'm, uh, maybe we should just use hoppers. And yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's grab a few more hoppers. Let's just have hoppers for each layer, and then we can just have all the hoppers uh, go down over here into the chest. Here, now let's just go ahead and have a big line of hoppers going directly into the chest like this. There we go. Go, that is looking pretty good. And all right, now this should connect everything together. Uh, yeah, everything looks connected. I think it should work now. Let's go, let's go. Here, let's just do one final step. Let's just make everything look nice by setting all of the walls into some obsidian. So let me just do slash slash set obsidian. Boom, there we go. That is looking pretty good. And all right, guys, we should probably do one more test before we actually like call it done. All right, I, I guess, Ruby, if you want to press the button, there you go. All righty, um, are you guys ready? And yeah, yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me check everything out. And all right, press the button whenever you're ready. Let's go. All right, here we go. And okay, first layer and second layer are working. What about the top layer? And yep, that is working too. Let's go. I think everything should work. Yeah, and it shouldn't like overflow. It should just stop and uh, yeah, everything works. Let's go. That is actually awesome. Phew, does this mean we can plant everything again? And oh, uh, yeah, now we can finally plant all of our crops again. So here on the first floor, we got to put down all wheat. I'll start working at the top and make my way down. I'll start working on the second floor. All right, all right. Sounds good here. I'll set the entire first floor to wheat. Let's just put down all of these wheat seeds over here. Man, our cows are gonna be eating good. And wait, that reminds me, we don't have any cows yet. Oh, gosh, yeah, we don't have any room right here. Oh, gosh, yeah, you're right, but we're definitely gonna have to build an animal farm next. Animal farms are very important for bunkers. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some meat. But wait, where are we going to put the animals? And, hmm, yeah, wait, we don't really have a lot of room, but <gasps> wait a minute. Actually, I think I know somewhere where we have a little bit of room. Why don't we build it underneath the first layer of the farm? There's a little bit of space down here. Oh, yeah, we can build it here. They're not as tall as us, so they should be fine. And yeah, yeah, 
exactly, exactly. Since cows are only two blocks wide, that should be plenty of room for them down there. Um, are you sure they're not gonna feel claustrophobic? And no, 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 it should be just fine. They're gonna have plenty of room here. They're like not even that tall. So here, let's go ahead and grab a few fences and I guess we can just build up little animal pins over here. We can have two pins. We could have one pin here for like the cows and then we can have another pin over here for like the, the, the sheep or something. Oh, yeah, well, why don't we just have four so we can have all the animals? Yeah, but wait, where are we gonna put the other two pins? Uh, probably right here and uh, right here. Mm, okay, okay, I guess we can do that. This is starting to get really cramped, but uh, we, we can go with it. Well, yeah, the chickens and pigs don't need that much space, so it should be fine. Mm -hmm, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. But wait, wait, hold on. Before you put down all the chickens like that, we gotta make an automatic chicken coop. Let me grab some glass and some hoppers real quick. Wait, what? Yep, we're gonna make an automatic egg picker upper. So uh, the first thing we gotta do is get rid of all of these chickens. So uh, I'm just gonna do that the fastest way I know how. And uh, let's build the automatic chicken coop once these guys are gone. There we go. All right, well, how do we build this automatic chicken coop or whatever? Well, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is put down a chest right over here like that and then we can put down a hopper going into it well we can put down two hoppers going into it like that let's have some hoppers going up like that and then let me grab a few slabs we could just put those around here like that there we go and let's put a little bit of glass on top of it and all right cam you can spawn in all of the chickens on top of the hoppers uh, okay i'll just wait for you to put uh some of the glass so they don't escape and wait wait actually let me grab a door really quick we could put down a door right over here for easy access inside so there we go you can just hop in and spawn in all of the chickens all right let me spawn them all in let's Let's go, let's go. This is looking nice. Oh, the baby chicken is so cute. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. What's he doing? He needs to go back in there as well. No, just let this one stay out. All right. And wait, wait, hold on, Cam. I, I think that should be enough. I think he's wanted a bit too many. They're kind of like uh, suffocating in there. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, gosh. Are you sure that they have enough space? And uh, Yeah, yeah, it, it should be fine. But anyways, now that they're all packed together in one place, we should get all of our eggs automatically inside of this chest. And uh, right now it's just raw chicken. Ignore that. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. But anyways, yeah, we should get eggs coming out of this very soon. We can check back in a moment. But now we got to put down all of the other animals. So I guess let's grab some cows, you sheep, and also what else? What else? Oh, uh, probably a pig. Ooh, having cows will be nice. We can get milk. Yep, and we can feed them with the wheat from our farm. So there we go. We can have the cows there. And then let's put down some sheep over here. And then finally, we can put down some pigs right over here. Oh, wait, those are not pigs. Those are not pigs, Dash. Hold on, hold on. I, I just made a typo. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to take them out with this emerald sword. Take this. How in the world do you manage to do that? Hey, dude, their spot eggs look pretty much identical, okay? Um, no, they don't, but um, I'll help you get rid of them. All right, there we go. And, okay, there we go. Now we've got some real pigs. And anyways, now that the farm is pretty much done, hold on, let's take a look at how many eggs we've collected so far. And, oh, so far, no eggs. So far, we've collected four more raw chickens. Oh, man, I feel bad for them. Can I let them out? No, 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 Ruby, don't let them out. There is so many in there. They're just gonna come out shooting like a rocket. All right, well, this farm area is looking pretty good. We should have food for days. And, yup, this thing is looking awesome. We're probably never gonna run out of food in here uh, ever. All right, this is looking pretty nice, but um, now that we have all the basic stuff, we should all customize this bunker a little bit. Um, what do you guys like? And, ooh, yeah, good idea, good idea. Uh, all right, well, well, what does everyone like? Ooh, we should have a pufferfish swimming pool. And, wait, what? Uh, 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 a pufferfish swimming pool? What? Cam, that sounds a little dangerous. Yeah, wait, do you not know pufferfish give you poison whenever you're near them? Uh, that's if you swim with them wrong. Uh, how do you swim with them right? Uh, you don't uh, poke them. What? Well, well they're probably still going to poke you, don't you think? No, what are you talking about? Wait, I'm kind of interested in seeing how this plays out. Yeah, guys, come on. Can we please build a pufferfish swimming pool? We'll build whatever you want after. Uh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can build a pufferfish swimming pool, but uh, where should we build it? Should we build it down here with the farm since, you know, it, it's like a, a thing involving animals? Uh, no, we need to build it over here. Uh, okay, okay, fine. I I guess we can have an entire room for the pufferfish swimming pool. Okay, um, wait, how deep does this have to be? And yeah, how big do you want it? I don't know, how close do you guys want to live to pufferfishes? Not close at all. Uh, not close at all, let's keep it very far away. Uh, I think here's fine. All right, all right, and here, I'm guessing now we have to start clearing out the sides? Yep, this should be good. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, though, this sounds like a really bad idea. The whole point of a bunker is to stay safe, and pufferfish uh, literally poison you. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite of safe. It's fine, guys, I'm like the pufferfish whisperer. The what? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, dude, say something in pufferfish language. Say, like, uh, hello, my name is Cam. Uh, <laughs> what? In no way any pufferfish understands you from that. Uh, yeah, they totally do. That's uh, that's pufferfish language. Wow, that's awesome. Wait, how'd you even learn it? Years and years of experience. What? Okay, okay. Well, anyways, uh, here, what do you want 
the walls of this room to be made out of? I'm guessing just obsidian to stay safe. Uh, yeah, I guess obsidian's fine. All right, all right, here, let's just do it with commands then. Let me grab another one and let's go over here in this corner and select that. And then also over here in this corner. And all right, let's do slash slash walls. Obsidian, boom, looking good. And all right, what do you want for the roof? Uh, let's see. They're gonna need reminding of home. So what about some blue concrete? <laughs> oh, uh, okay, I guess we can do blue concrete. Let's just do slash slash set concrete blue boom looking good and uh to make this look more like home i'm gonna put like a sun here that is gonna be a big sun huh uh, yeah i'm going all out with this it has to be the best for the puffer fish okay okay but anyways uh when do we actually build the pool area because that's kind of like the most important part right oh yeah um hmm, where do we build this he's still working on the sun just give it some time uh, i guess we can just build it on the floor or something right but hold up first things first we should probably add a door to this room and uh, let, let's add this door over here. I do not want any pufferfish escaping. Uh, okay, I guess that's fine. How are the pufferfish going to escape? They can only swim. Yeah, but what if one of them mutates? Uh, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, a muted pufferfish would not be good. Wait, imagine what a muted pufferfish would do. Would it just, like, be able to, like, puff, like, really hard and just, like, poison everyone in its surroundings? Oh, no, they'd be super strong and they'd be able to, like, eat you. What? Okay, okay, well, anyways, I'm just gonna set all of the floor right now into a little bit of sand and then let me just look down and do slash slash move. There we go. And then I'm gonna do slash slash set water and boom there we go now we've got a little swimming pool area isn't this looking great yeah this is looking pretty good now and here i guess the next thing we could do is grab a few uh, lily pads and uh, let's just put down a few of these around here this can make it look like a like a proper ocean wait are lily pads found in the ocean uh honestly i don't even know where they're found i'm pretty sure they're like normally found in swamps but wait pufferfish live in swamps don't they uh, no they actually live in a uh, warm ocean biomes warm ocean swamp same thing here let me just set the wall over here and do some obsidian as well there we go and all right how's this looking is, is this is good enough for your liking mm, let me see um and uh, dude we're literally missing the most important part oh oh yeah right right the puffer fish okay let me grab a bucket of puffer fish really quick and all right i'm about to spawn these in cam uh, let, let's see let's see you swim with these guys and not get poisoned oh, uh, okay I, let's spawn it a bit more uh, you want more okay okay i'm just gonna spawn in a bunch of them these guys look so small when they're not puffed up but as soon as they puff up they get huge okay, i'm gonna stand right here all right there we go and uh yeah i just take a plunge i i could swim with them and wait wait you should talk to them you should tell one of them to uh jump onto one of the lily pads uh, they don't want to come out of the water why, why, why not uh, because the water is where they live and, oh oh I, uh, fair enough all right but anyways uh, is this good enough is this a good enough uh, the fishing pool with puffer fish uh, yeah this is totally good enough let's go all right all right well anyways uh what's the next thing we should build we should all have like our own little thing inside of the bunker and oh i have an idea for what i want to build guys i want to build a capture the flag mini game what a capture the flag mini game where uh let's see let's see why don't we build it over here on this side i gotta have a bunch of room for this all right Let's go. Wait, why I capture the flag game? Well, if we don't have any mini games down here, it's going to get boring, isn't it? Uh, I guess, but uh, capture the flag is a weird one. No, no, no. Capture the flag is going to be awesome. Trust me, guys. I'm an expert at capture the flag. Uh, it looks like this room is going to be humongous. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to make this place big so that we can have a bunch of room for hiding spots and like everything like that. So here, let me just uh, clear out a bunch of space really quick. Let's do slash slash stack uh, five. There we go. And let's also stack this way. And here, I think we should also make the roof a little bit taller. So I'm just going to look up and run slash slash stack again. And there we go. That is looking pretty good. Okay, and how should this room look? Well, hmm, let's see. Every Capture the Flag minigame should have, like, a theme to it. So what theme should we do for this one? What about Pufferfish? No, dude, I'm, I'm sure we have plenty of Pufferfish inside of this bunker. Um, hmm, what else? What else? What about, like, um, uh, Fire versus Water or something? And, oh, fire versus Water? That could actually be really cool, but wait, wait. Why don't we do Nether versus Overworld? Oh, yeah, that actually sounds sick. Yeah, yeah, that way we have some blocks that we can work with. So, uh, here, what we gotta do is let's make the nether side over here on this side since we already have a wall made out of obsidian. All righty, let's just fix up this wall real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Here, guys, what we can do is have half of the room be nether and then the other half be overworld. So let's just have this half over here be nether. So there we go. The walls can be made out of obsidian and then I guess the roof can be made out of uh, netherrack. And I'll set the floor to some nether bricks just like that. Ooh, nice, nice. That looks pretty cool. And all right, now we got to do the overworld side in here. For the overworld side, let's make all of the walls out of some light blue concrete so let's just do that there we go and here we should set the floor to grass yep exactly we gotta have the floor be made out of some grass and uh, oh yeah we definitely gotta build some structures on each side we gotta have like some hiding spots and stuff for the flag so here why don't we build like a little village on the overworld side oh, yeah village would look nice yeah this is gonna look sick here let's just go ahead and have a few village houses over here like this they don't have to be anything too crazy just like a simple hiding spot Alrighty, um just like this right yep yep that's looking pretty good here they don't have to be anything too big we just gotta have like little 
basic houses like this. Pretty much, we just have to have a bunch of spots for hiding the flag. And, all right, how is this? Let me see. And, oh, uh, no, wait, Ruby, that might be a little bit too small and basic. This kind of looks like an outhouse. Oh, uh, that was my intention at all. I think you should make it a little bit bigger. Kind of like the one I'm building over here. Just, like, make it the exact same. And that should be pretty good. Um, can I just copy paste it? And, oh, yeah, yeah. You can literally just copy and paste it. We can just copy and paste a few of these houses. But, hold on. Before you do that, let me build the interior. We could have, like, a bed. We could have a furnace. And, uh, Ooh, we could also have a chest. Are you ready? Wait, one sec, one sec. Let me put down all of the equipment. And all right, go for it. You can copy and paste it now. And copy and pasta. Pasta? Okay, but anyways, that looks pretty good. And ooh, we should also add a roof to some of the houses. That could make more hiding spots. Let me grab a fence really quick. And we could just have some fence going around over here like this. And then we could also have a ladder going from the back. There we go. That is looking pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And then the home base for the overworld side could be the blacksmith. And ooh, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. That could be pretty cool. And ooh, I see you already started working on like a little nether fortress over here. That's looking pretty awesome. Here, I guess I'll work a little bit on the nether side now. What should I build next? Ooh, what if you just build a castle on this side? Ooh, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. We could build a lava castle. Okay, here, let me grab a few nether blocks really quick. I'm just gonna grab all the random nether blocks I could find. There we go. And let's just build a big nether castle right over here. I'm gonna build it out of nether right. This is gonna look sick. Okay, I'll help over here. All right, all right. Sounds good here. Right now, I'm just gonna build up these little archer towers over here. This is looking pretty sick. Although, these aren't gonna be like real archer towers or anything. It's just gonna be like, you know, for hiding the flag. Because we don't want people getting hurt inside of the bunker. Oh, true. Does that mean we shouldn't use real lava on that side? And, uh, wait, you're using real lava over here? Uh, it should be fine. What we can do is cover up the lava with some slabs over here so that no one actually, like, falls into it. What about the nether side? Um, the nether kind of needs lava. And, hmm, yeah, you're right, you're right. That is a good point. And, ooh, wait a minute. What we could do is use a little bit of this fake lava. Check it out. It pretty much just looks like real lava, but whenever you go inside of it, you get fire resistance. Oh, cool. And, wait, that reminds me. We should definitely make a few lava pools around here. There's no point of having a nether without a lava pool, so we can just have, like, some lava dripping from the ceiling like that. This should look pretty epic. Oh, yeah, and the lava could be, like, a hiding area. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, oh, Camp, that actually gives me a really good idea. Why don't we build a little room underneath one of the lava pools for hiding the flag? Oh, yeah, that's a banger idea. Yeah, yeah, so right over here, I can just go down into the lava over here. And here, I'm just gonna clear out a little bit of space over here like this. And, hold on, let me make sure to cover everything up with some nether bricks to make it look nice. There we go, that looks pretty good. And then what I could do is hide a chest down over here to hide the flag because uh, if you just like put the flag down over here like like try dropping it it's just gonna burn so there we go we got a chest for hiding the flag and all right that's looking pretty good uh oh and i can put a stack of hay bales right here for people to hide behind oh yeah yeah good idea good idea but anyways i'm gonna finish up working on the castle now i kind of started it but i didn't finish on it yet so here let's just go ahead and build another archer tower over here in this corner we gotta have one in each corner of the castle so there we go that's looking pretty good and here let's also add a last layer of castle walls back here and let's also build one more archer tower there we go but hold on a minute how is anyone actually supposed to get up on the archer towers i haven't really uh thought about that yet we can't just like dig in over here and oh wait actually hold on we can and here now let's just go ahead and put down a few ladders on each one of these archer towers there we go that is looking pretty good and all right i think this nether side should be pretty much done how's the overworld side looking and whoa this blacksmith looks pretty good hold on let me check out the inside is there a lot of hiding spots here and ooh, you have a chest nice yeah it should be a good hiding spot for the flag Ooh, nice 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 and oh, wait a minute i have another cool hiding spot for the flag why don't we put a chest underneath this fence over here that way it's gonna be like hard to see but people can hide their flag in here oh yeah they could also hide it in the furnace too exactly exactly there's so many good hiding spots here they can hide it inside of the village houses as well and ooh, wait you also put one over here i just put one under the tree that is pretty awesome and ooh, guys i have one last idea for what we could do on the overworld side let's make a little mine we can pretty much just have like a little cave going down like this there we go that's looking pretty good and all right guys check this out now i'm gonna grab this thing called a secret chest and pretty much what these things do is whenever you put them down they look like a normal stone block but they're actually a chest this could be a really good hiding spot oh yeah that could be like one of the super cheaty hiding spots yep this is gonna be a banger hiding spot but anyways I, I think we should have everything we've got the mine we've got the blacksmith and over here we've got the castle and okay hold on i'm not gonna lie the nether side is kind of lacking a bit we gotta upgrade the nether side yeah i think the nether side needs more hiding spots yeah yeah you're definitely
definitely right, but hmm, what other hiding spots can we build? What about like a small bastion? And ooh, wait, a nether bastion? That is a good idea. Okay, let's do that. Let me just finish up this castle really quick. I'm just gonna raise up the walls a little bit, just like that. And all right, where should we build this bastion? Uh, how about we just build it over here in this corner? We can, uh, ooh, we can build it right here. And ooh, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we build it out of some of these ash and stone blocks? This stuff looks super cool. It's like lava bricks. Oh yeah, we can make it like an upgraded bastion. Exactly, exactly. We can use like some of these blocks here and then some of these lava brick blocks as well. This is actually gonna look crazy. Whoa, this is looking sick. Yup, this thing is gonna be awesome. We can have a lot of hiding spots in here. And ooh, wait a minute, guys. I have a cool idea for a hiding spot. Why don't we have like a little parkour hiding spot where people have to do parkour to get up to it? Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah, here. Let's build it out of some of these red and nether bricks. We can have like a little bit of parkour going up over here like this. There we go. And then we can uh, uh, like have a chest over here. Oh yeah, this is looking sick. Let me just grab a chest and a little bit of fence and we can put that down right over here like this. We gotta put fence around it so that people just don't go here and cheat. Can I open it from down here without doing the parkour though? Uh, I don't think so. Hold on. Let me give it a try and yeah, wait, I don't think you can reach. I don't think you can reach from over there, but you can definitely reach from back here. Oh, wait, hold on. I just reached it. Oh, no problem. I guess we can put some blocks here like that. And wait, is this gonna prevent any Anyone from reaching it and uh, I, I just opened it again. Hold on. That is an issue here. How about what we do is just move the chest down one block over here like that and okay, there we go. Now we shouldn't have any problems. No one can reach it from down here. All right, cool. And all right. Anyways, I think this capture the flag arena should be pretty much done. The last thing we need is to go over here in the front and I'm just going to put down a chest with a bunch of flags inside of it and uh, I guess for the flags, we can just use some wool. What type of wool should we use though? Uh, probably some red and light blue. Actually, wait, no, I want to use purple and uh, uh, green. Uh, no, uh, it's nether versus overworld. We need to do blue versus red. Okay, fine. What about uh, purple versus blue? There we go. That works. Uh, no, no purple. But dude, it, it's my game, okay? I, I I choose the colors. All right, um, that's okay. But uh, wait, we should have some colored armor. That way we can mark who's on which team. And ooh, wait a minute. That's a banger idea. We could have some armor stands with some dyed leather armor so that people know which team they're on. So here, let me grab some leather armor really quick. And uh, we can just put the armor stands right over here. We could have like two armor stands per team. And then let me go ahead and grab a crafting table and some dye. Let me grab a little bit of blue dye and also some purple dye. And all right, let's get to dye in this armor. Let's go. We gotta make a light blue set of armor and a purple set of armor. I'm already on it. Here's the overworld side. Oh, uh, uh, I already made the light. Oh, wait, you put green on it? That's a cool idea. I guess for the purple side, we can do uh orange and purple. I don't understand why you want to use purple for everything. We could just make it look like the nether and have orange and red. No, 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 no. Trust me. Purple is a banger color, okay? Uh, plus, like, everything in the nether is purple if you look at it hard enough. Well, at least make it purple and red. Mm, uh, orange is better. Yeah, orange represents lava, so uh, it's good. So there we go. I just finished dyeing the armor, and now let me put it on these armor stands over here. And check it out, guys. That armor looks sick, doesn't it? It looks like Halloween. Uh, no, I made better armor. Look, this one looks so much better for the nether side. And what? No, wait. Okay, we're sticking with the purple armor. That, that, my purple armor looks way better. No, the red one looks so much cooler. You are uh, definitely wrong, but <gasps> wait, how about we settle this with a match of capture the flag? Me versus you guys. Oh, uh, a 2v1? A, yeah, we're totally getting this armor. And uh, Okay, okay. If you guys win, then we can use red armor. But if I win, we're using the purple armor. All right, we'll see about that. All right, well, here, everyone grab their flag. I'm going to grab one of these purple wools. There we go. And all right, everyone, go to your side. We can have 30 seconds to hide our flag. Oh, yeah, I definitely know where I'm hiding mine. All righty, let's go. All right, all right. And here, okay, I need to find a hiding spot that they don't know about. So... Hmm, let's see. Where could I hide my flag? Wait a minute. I could go behind the castle. This could be a pretty good spot. Um, hmm, let's see. I feel like Cam already knows about the hiding spot in the lava, so that's not gonna work. And yeah, okay, I think my best bet is to hide it right over here behind this nether fortress thingy. So let's just put the flag down over there. And all right, guys, I I'm ready. Uh, yeah, we're ready too. Let's go. All right, all right. Well, uh, here's the rules. Uh, We have to try to find each other's flags and bring it back to our side. But if you get tagged, then uh, you have to go back to your own side. All right, well, Ruby, uh, you could go look for the flag, and uh, I'll just take out Dash. And, oh, no. You guys have, like, one person to defend and one person to look for the flag. Okay, that is actually so unfair. Uh, well, I'm just going to, like, punch you if you come to my side, so stay back. Well, I'm going to punch you. All right, let's go. And uh, you Guys, stay back. I I'm just going to punch you if you come to my side. And, hey, okay, I see you there. Go back, go back, and Ruby, go away. Nope, you're not going to catch Come me. here, take oh, that. All right, ow. you have to go back to your side. Uh, Cam, where are you? Are you in the castle? Uh, no, I'm not. Hey, yo, I see you there, buddy. Go away. Come on, I'm just going to punch you real quick. Go back to your side. Yeah, take that. Oh, I see. And oh god. Okay, now I need to try looking for your guys' flag. Where did you hide it? Uh, somewhere. Hold on, let me just do some scouting out really quick. Let's see, let's see. Mm, okay, I don't really see it anywhere. Uh, I'm scared to run over to your side because you're just gonna punch me. Yep, and no, 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 no. Yeah, yo, guys, get away from my 
my side. Go away. Uh, what's this? And I'm, no, kid, that is nothing. I'm punching you. I'm punching you. Oh, I got punched. Well, Ruby, I found the flag. And oh, no. Uh, guys, come on. Stay away from my flag. Wait, where is it? It's over there in the corner. Okay, now we just have to get over there. Guys, guys, I'm just going to defend it. Uh, you guys are not getting anywhere near my flag. Hey, Dash, no flag guarding. What? Flag guarding? What do you mean? I'm allowed to do that. That's part of the game. Uh, you're just standing in front of it. You're not even doing anything. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm definitely doing anything. Wait, is Ruby somewhere around here? And, and Kim, I see you. Go away. Yeah, get punched. There you go. Take that. Oh, dodge, dodge. Ow. Get back on your own side. And uh, Ruby, I see you over there. I'm going to punch you as well. Take that. And Kim, go away. Stay away from my flag. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, you do not. I'll punch it. You take that. I got it. I got it. Yeah, but you didn't bring it back to your side. You didn't bring it back to You have to put it down. What? That's not. How is this fair? You're just going to stand here and punch us. That's how it works. You have to put the flag down. If you get tagged, then you have it. Well, how is this fair? You're not going to leave. You're just going to stand here and punch us. Well, I guess you just got to figure something out. All right, well, fine. And Ruby, I see you over there. Go away. Oh, come on. And I can't, but what are you doing? Go away. Can I not have a break for one second? Oh, my goodness. What? How are we supposed to win? And, okay, okay, guys. How about we make a deal? I I'll let you guys rush to my side if you let me rush to your side, okay? Oh, I'm sure if you want to lose. And, uh, I'm not going to lose. But hey, hey, wait, hold on. We didn't start yet. Go back hey. to your side. Go back to your side. All right, let's swap spots in three, two, one. All right, let's go. Where's your guys' flag at? All right, well, Ruby, I'm getting the flag. No, wait, no, I'm getting the flag. I know where it is already. Uh, the, what? Uh, no, I, uh, fine. I, I guess you can have it. What? No, uh, you you take it. Come on, come on. Is it inside of the hidden chest here? And No, it's not there. Well, where is your guys' flag at? Well, you picked it back up again. Oh, well, we give it back. What are you guys doing with my flag over there? How have you guys not won yet? Okay, I'm coming back with it. Wait, oh, no. And wait, is it up here? And oh, Wait, there's a chest over here. Ruby, how did you drop it in the lava? Where is it? It was an accident. And, oh, wait, guys, I found your flag. Flag. Hold on, I need to go back to my side now. Come on, come on. Wait, go back to our side. Come on, Cam. And guys, uh, I have your flag. How did you guys mess that up? Uh, we just got confused, okay? It was Cam's fault. The rules are not that clear. It, it wasn't my fault. Yes, it was. H how, wait, where's the flag now? Where did it go? Uh, it's in the lava somewhere. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, well, I think that settles it. Uh, purple armor it is. Let's go. It still looks hideous. What? It does not. Whatever. Well, now that we have the puffer fish and we have this thing, um, can we build something that I want now? And Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Wait, wait, Ruby, what do you want to build inside of the bunker? Okay, well, I want a petting zoo. And, oh, oh, uh, of course, a petting zoo. All right, well, uh, I mean, we already kind of have one over here, don't we? That is not a petting zoo. What? Yeah, it isn't. Hold on a minute. Speaking about our farm, I want to see how many eggs our chickens have produced so far. And, oh, guys, uh, take a look inside of this chest. We've got so many eggs. Oh, wait, how many eggs do we have? And, whoa, we've got a ton. Yep, guys, I told you this automatic egg collector would work. Mm, that gives me an idea for my farm. But, anyways, um, let's clear out a spot over here. All right, I guess we can clear out a spot over here. And wait, how big do you want this petting zoo to be? Mm, I want it to be uh, pretty big. Mm, okay, okay. Bigger or smaller than the Capture the Flag Arena? Mm, just about the same size. Whoa, okay, okay. This is going to be a pretty big petting zoo then. And, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, is this far enough, do you think? Um, Yes, this is definitely far enough. Now we just have to go a little wider. Yep, here, let me grab a wand really quick. And what we can do to make it wider is just select this position and also this position over here. And then let's just look this way and run slash slash stack. Boom, there we go. Oh. Oh, I stacked it way too far. Uh, I think this is the perfect size. Hey, wait to put it back. Uh, no, 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 Ruby, that was way too big. Oh, let's try slash slash stack uh, three only. There we go. I, I think that's a more uh, a better size. Oh, uh, whatever. All right, well, anyways, uh, I guess uh, that's the next thing we do. I've never really built a petting zoo before. Um, now we need to put down some grass and some gates. All right, here, I'll put down the grass. Let's just do slash slash set grass. There we go. And wait, you said we also need to put down some gates. I got you, no problem. Let's just put down a bunch of these over here like that. There we go. This is looking pretty good. Is this good enough for the gates area? Um, maybe. Uh, I think we should have some over here, too. And uh, oh, oh, you want more gates? All right, all right. I didn't know you were such like a gates enthusiast. Yep, I want to be able to pet the animals from all sides. But um, I'm going to make a sign for the zoo now. Oh, uh, uh, all right, all right. Go for it. I'm just going to keep putting down gates gates over here. Um, I'm not sure where the animals were going to go. The instructions are kind of unclear. Um, I'll check it in a second. I'm sure you're doing fine. Uh, wait, what are we doing for the walls? Ooh, wait, we should just put down a sky so they can be reminded of home. And Oh, all right, all right. I guess we can make the walls out of blue concrete. Let me just select these positions and do slash slash set blue concrete. There we go. And uh, should we do the same with the roof and everything? Ooh, yes, definitely. All right, there we go. Boom, that's looking pretty good. And all right, what do you think about all these gates? This is perfect. 
heck? Let's put down a bunch of sheep. And oh, oh, all right. Uh, the way, are you sure the sheep are gonna fit in here? They, I don't think they can like really go inside. Uh, you did not leave any room for the animals. What? You told me to put down a bunch of gates. You didn't tell me they had to be spaced apart. Um, they should have some fences too. Isn't that normal? Well, uh, you just said gates. You didn't say fences. Oh man. All right. Well, I guess we can use a few fences. What about these purple ones? These ones are pretty nice. Uh, I guess they're fine. Yeah, let's go. We got to use purple fences. I like the magenta ones better, but I guess purple's kind of close. Oh, what about these electrified fences? And what the uh, <laughs> electric fences? <laughs> Why would you want that in a petting zoo? Uh, in case any of them try to escape. Oh, uh, actually, fair enough. That's a pretty good point. But uh, anyways, this uh, petting zoo is looking pretty good. We got uh, two animals in here. I is this all? Uh, we have to put down some more sheep. Okay, okay. I guess we can have a few more sheep. And then I guess this side can have some horses. Ooh, all right, all right. And wait a minute. Hold on, Cam. Check this out. I'm gonna make all the sheep purple. Wh Why are you so obsessed with purple? It's gonna be funny. Wait, just wait for Ruby to turn around. And wait, Ruby, uh, check, <laughs> check out the sheep. I just made them better. And we just put down some horses. And what happened to my sheep? I, I, I made them purple. Look, now they match the fence. What? No, I don't like purple that much. What, what do you mean? It's such a good color. These sheep look awesome. Now check it out. Uh, you aren't even thinking about what I like. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I, I guess we can paint some of them uh, magenta since that's your favorite color, right? Yes. <sighs> this is so much better. There we go. All right, now they're all magenta. But anyways, what else do you need in a petting zoo? Um, boring. I think it needs a mini game. All right. And wait, what type of mini game are you building? This is going to be a sheep sorting mini game. Wait, a sheep sorting mini game? What's that? So basically, there'll be a bunch of colored sheep and you just have to sort them out into the right color. Ooh, okay. Wait, actually, that kind of sounds interesting. Uh, hold on. We should probably build it out of concrete, right? We can have like one of each color concrete. Yep. In rainbow order. Ooh, all right. All right. And wait, hold on. What's rainbow order? I'm pretty sure it starts with purple and then it's, uh, green and then it's, uh, yellow, right? Uh, no, 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 no. It's like red, orange, yellow. You know what? Just let me do it. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. You can do the colors, but what should I do? I guess you should start dyeing the sheep. All right. And oh, wait. We should probably do every color, right? So uh, let me just grab every color of dye. And wait, hold on, Cam. I have an idea. I'll dye the sheep. You spawn them in. Uh, okay. Let me grab a sheep spawn egg. All right. All right. And here, I'm just going to choose all the best colors. Let me grab some of this. There we go. Uh, where should I spawn them in at? Uh, I just spawn them in right over here. We can make like a little pit for them so that they don't escape. Uh, okay. I guess I'll spawn in a few. Uh, all right, all right, there we go. That is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna dye them all of the good colors uh, that are definitely colorful and bright. Uh, Dash, you're dyeing them like gray and brown, and uh, they, 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 these aren't good colors at all. Uh, these are great colors. I'm sure this is exactly what Ruby meant when she said that we should dye the sheep. Alrighty, and now I have everything in rainbow order. You're not even putting them in the thing, Dash. Yeah, we, we ran out of space inside of the pit. You're just letting them roam. Hey guys, how is it going over there? And oh, it's going great. We're dyeing the sheep all sorts of different colorful colors. It is looking awesome. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. It's looking really good. Here, let's just dye all of them and... <gasps> wait a minute. Hold on, Kim. Check this out. Check this out. Let me grab an anvil really quick and a name tag. And pretty much, if I just go ahead and rename this name tag into Jeb underscore and then put it on one of the sheep, check it out. It is now a rainbow sheep. Whoa, that's actually... Cool. What the heck? Yup, this is awesome. I'm sure this is exactly what Ruby meant by rainbow sheep. Here, let's just go ahead and make all of them like that. There we go. Let's just rename all of these guys into Jeb underscore looking good. Ruby is actually going to be so surprised when she sees all this. Yeah, I'm just moving them all in. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That is looking pretty good. And here, let's just go ahead and literally name all of the sheep inside of this room into Jeb underscore. Hey guys, how's it going up there? And oh yeah, uh, Ruby, we're pretty much done. We just finished dying all the sheep. You want to take a look? Oh, sure. And um, what is this? And, uh, what, 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 what do you mean? What is this? Look, they're all rainbow. Gem underscore. And why are they changing colors? They're not even the right colors. But you said rainbow. This is literally the definition of rainbow right here. No, I meant like this. This is all Dash. He done this. What? How, do you, how is this not good? Look, you said rainbow, and they're all changing colors. If I made them only red, then it wouldn't be rainbow. Dash, get rid of all of these sheep now. What? You want to get rid of these? Okay, well, that's fine. I, I guess I can get rid of them. In that case, let me grab a lava bucket, and there we go. Oh, my gosh. Um, Just to make it these colors up here. Okay, fine, fine. I'll make them those colors. Let me grab a little bit of red dye, and we also need some orange dye. Let's see. Let's see. We need some yellow dye, a little bit of lime dye. Uh, What else? What else? Some blue dye. And finally, some magenta and uh, purple dye. There we go, Kim. I got all the dye colors here. Can you spawn in the sheep again? Oh, yeah, I'll spawn in a bunch. All right, all right. Let's go here. Let me just dye all of these guys up. Let's go. All right, I'll let you dye them. All right, sick here. I think we might need a little bit more. All right, I'll spawn in a few more. There we go. Let me just spawn in a bunch. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. And okay, I think this should be enough. All right, Ruby, we, we re-dyed all of the sheep. And now we got uh, different colors. All right, okay. This is looking a lot better. And um, let's see. We have red, 
Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and magenta. Okay, perfect. Yep, we've got all the colors, but now, uh, where do we move the sheep? Now we just need to put these sheep in random spots. All right, all right, I guess we can do that here. Let me grab a little bit of hay really quick. And all right, Mr. Sheeps, follow me. Uh, the, let's all go over here this way. Come on. Come on, little sheepies. Oh, they're not following me for some reason. I'm gonna start punching them. Hey, don't punch them. What, why not? This is a petting zoo, not a punching zoo. What? I was just petting them. I was just petting them really hard because I just really like animals. Uh, yeah, uh, don't don't think you should punch them then. What? It's the fastest way, okay? But uh, anyways, let's just put all of these sheep into their own pins. Come on, Mr. Sheeps, follow me. Uh, why are they not following my hay? Do they not like me? Uh, maybe it's because they don't like the color purple. Maybe it's because you punched them. Oh, yeah, maybe one of those things. All right, but come on, guys, just get in your pin. There, okay, there's still like a bunch of spots over here that are unfilled. I'm just gonna use a lead. Yeah, okay, I think a lead might just be easier. Let me grab a lead and all right, animals, get in your pin. Let's go. Okay, almost done. There we go. This is looking pretty good and all right uh, is this right is this what you wanted yep this is just what i wanted and now we need a chest full of fishing rods all right here let's just fill up this hole that we made into the ground really quick there we go and all right uh, we have a chest with fishing rods wait what's the fishing rods for um let's just fill up this chest first and basically what you have to do is take the fishing rod and use it to sort the sheep out to the right color so let's see this red one let's put this red one over here and, oh oh i see and wait, wait, wait hold on I don't, I don't think it's really working you can't really pull the sheep that far with the fishing rod oh well, I guess it doesn't work, but uh, how do we fix that? And wait a minute, I'm pretty sure the reason it's not working is because you're not like uh, high enough away from the sheep. What we need to do is let me grab another wand really quick. We gotta make the roof of this place higher. So let me select this position and go all the way up here in this corner and then select this position. And let me just set all of this into some air. All right, there we go. And up, uh, wait, oh, we got some water. We gotta cover this up. Oh no, they're gonna drown. Quick, quick, quick. We gotta cover up all this water. We do not want any water leaking in. And okay, there we go. I think that should be good. But anyways, what we can do now is just grab a ladder and let's just go ahead and have a ladder going all the way up over here to the top of this room and then we can just have a nice little platform over here out of some light blue concrete and all right ruby try it now with the fishing rod you should be able to fish them pretty easily from here all right let's try it and uh all right and whoa okay whoa! yeah that definitely worked wait i think it worked a little bit too well oh. I think we have to make the platform a little lower. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you might be right here. Let's just go ahead and break this old platform. Let's just go down a little bit over here. And, uh, okay, I think about here should be high enough. Here, Ruby, do you want to test it out again? Here, one sec. Let me just give these sheep regeneration real quick. And, oh, wow, you're, they're really giving them regeneration. Okay, okay, well, here, let me just build this platform all the way over here. I think this platform height should be good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. All right, all right, here we go. Let's see, are the sheep gonna take a bunch of damage on impact? And, uh, Ruby, did you just fall down? Um, I couldn't aim the fishing rod. Okay, okay, well, here, try picking it up. Let's see. Is it gonna let you lift it up? Let's see, let's see. And, oh, yes, that worked perfectly. Woo! Oh, yeah, look, it's working. Okay, let's just get this dark blue one over here. Let's go. And, okay, it looks like the game is all working. Now, all we gotta do is just uh, make everything look nice. So, here, let's just cover up all the walls with a little bit of blue concrete. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And, all right, is this everything for your petting zoo? And, yep. That should be it. Let's go. But anyways, now we've got a petting zoo. We've got to capture the flag mini game. And we've even got a, a puffer fish swimming pool thingy. But hmm, is there anything that we're missing inside of our bunker? Um, we don't have bedrooms. Uh, yeah, we don't have a place to sleep. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are right. We don't have any sort of living quarters at all. And oh, wait a minute, guys. I have a cool idea for how we could build our living quarters. Let me grab some oak planks and some glass really quick. And why don't we just have like little floors over here on the ladder where we can build our living quarters? <gasps> That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, so I'll build my room down over here on this floor, and then someone else can build theirs on the next floor up over here, and we can just have multiple floors. Oh, yeah, I'll build mine at the top. I'll build mine in the middle. Let's go, let's go. This is actually gonna look sick here. I'm just gonna build myself a nice room right over here like this, and I'm gonna make all the walls of this room into some glass. Yep, I'm gonna put my floor down, and then I'm gonna start working on the walls. Let's go, let's go. Here, my roof is kind of uh, Ruby's floor, so uh, Ruby, I'm gonna help you out with your floor real quick. There we go. Let's just fill all of that, and all right, sick. Now I can start working on my room. All right, well, anyway, since this is supposed to be a bedroom, I guess the first thing I'm gonna need in here are some beds. So let's see, let me grab a few of these purple beds and I'll just put those down right over there like that. I'm gonna have a triple bed. A triple bed? Yup, it's gonna be pretty crazy. I gotta have a lot of room for uh, my big muscles, yeah. Normal beds just don't fit me. Yes, you don't have any muscles. What, what do you mean? My muscles are absolutely ginormous. Um, okay, if you say so. All right, well, anyways, the next thing I need is a little desk with a chair like that. There we go. And all right, I think that should be about everything for my bedroom. How's your guys' looking? Let me come up and see. And 
Well, okay, Ruby, yours is still uh, in progress, I see. What about you, Cameron? Oh, well, you have a door for yours, wow. Yeah, I need privacy, it's my bedroom. Oh, yeah, it's fair enough, fair enough, but uh, hold on, wait, I can help you with your bedroom. I've already done mine. Uh, here, uh, let's put down a few beds over here. Let's grab a few uh, purple beds and put those down right over there. Actually, wait, you don't need a triple bed. Uh, no, 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 I, I don't want your purple beds. Uh, just stay out of here. What? Oh, okay, well, hold on, Ruby, do you want my help? Um, as long as you don't do anything purple. What? Okay, okay, fine. How about we uh, put down some paintings? Yeah, that could be pretty cool. We could have like some paintings over here. We can have uh, another one right over there. Oh, they're the same painting. Uh, I guess that's fine. Let me just put down a bed and then some couches. And wait, wait, actually, this gives me a pretty cool idea for my house. I'm gonna make myself a little balcony over here. This is gonna be sick. Let me just grab some doors and fences really quick. And all right, we'll put some doors out over here like that. And then I'm just gonna make a little balcony area out of some wood. And wait, the guys, someone left the farm door open. We've got two chickens escaping the farm. But how did the chickens get out? I have no clue. They're literally trapped inside of a box, but uh, I, I guess they just did. I guess we can leave them here. But anyways, back to the balcony. Let me just build the balcony over here like this. There we go. Let's fill in the middle with some oak wood. And then we can surround everything with a little bit of fence. This is actually looking sick. Now I can have a cool view of everything that's going on in the bunker. All right, well, my room's finished. Ooh, all right, all right. Let me check this out. Let's see how's this thing looking. And ooh, all right, all right. This looks pretty cool. Wait, Ruby, are you done your room yet? And whoa, a lot of magenta in here, I see. Yep, I'm pretty much done with my room. I'm just giving my bed a little bit more privacy. Ooh, nice. That's looking pretty cool. But anyways, we've got the bedrooms. We've got the pet zoo we've got everything we need but oh, wait uh, guys we should probably have some sort of like emergency escape because what if we get like stuck down here oh no i don't want to get stuck down here during a tornado oh yeah we need a way to escape exactly so oh, wait a minute guys why don't we build a super safe escape airship wait uh, how do we do that well it's pretty simple first we gotta clear out a little bit of space let's build the airship area right over here in this side pretty much we just gotta have like a really safe airship with a bunch of supplies on it that we can use to escape whenever we uh, have to escape so here, the first thing we gotta do is clear out a bunch of space. Uh, okay. Let's go out build the walls. All right, all right, sounds good. I'll keep clearing out a little bit of space over here like this. There we go. And okay, I think this should be enough room for the airship area. All right, but uh, how do we build an airship? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All we need to do is grab one of these chairs. We need to grab a passenger's chair and a captain's chair. And also this thing called the physics infuser. Pretty much that's gonna let us control the ship. And hmm, guys, what should we build the airship out of? Uh, what about some uh, purple concrete maybe? Why do you always want to build everything out of purple. Hey, it's a good color, okay? Well, I was thinking if it's an airship, we can make it look, you know, like an airship and make it look, uh, you know, put some wood. What? Wood? You really think wood is gonna be strong enough to survive a tornado? No way. Uh, you think concrete's gonna be strong enough to survive a tornado? Uh, yeah, dude, it's literally concrete. Have you ever tried breaking through concrete before? Yeah, it's just a tiny bit harder than wood. What? No way. It's gonna be way stronger against a tornado. Oh, uh, actually, a fair point. Yeah, concrete is very good, and here, we could set the walls into some glass just like that, and then, yep, we also gotta have a door hole over here in the back. And here, let's also have a little ladder area to actually get up to the door. Let me just go ahead and clear out some space back over here like that. And then we just have a ladder right over here to get up to the door. Pretty much you have to climb the ladder and then hop into the door like that, looking good. All right, the walls are done, but um, how do we get the airship out of this place? And oh yeah, good question. Right now the airship is kind of stuck inside of the bunker. So I was thinking we could use some command blocks. Let me just slash give myself a command block really quick. And here, I'm just gonna put down the command block right over here. Hey, let's bring it to my pufferfish area. Cut it out. Oh, oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can move the command block over uh, here instead. Yeah. And here, now let me go ahead and paste in this command. And pretty much whenever we hit this button, it's gonna open up the ceiling and go all the way up to the surface so that we can fly the airship out. Okay, uh, don't hit that button right now. We don't want the tornado to get in here. And yeah, yeah, we do not want to test that out right now. We can only use that when we actually need to. But now, we just gotta deck out the interior of the airship. So let's put down a captain chair over there. It dibs on being the captain and then we could have two passenger seats over there and let's also put down the physics infuser right here. Oh, we should also have a chest that has some uh, emergency resources. And oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. We can have a little bit of water and some food. Oh, let's put in a couple of elytras for us. And oh, yeah, yeah, good idea. These could be like a parachutes in case we have to like hop off the airship. There we go. We can just have a bunch of resources in over there and all right, I think the airship should be pretty much done except uh, we don't really have a roof yet. So let's build that now. And there we go. The airship is now complete. This is looking awesome. Yeah, but uh, guys, it's been a while since we checked on the tornado. Uh, maybe it's time we check and, on it. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, you have a good point. We have not checked on it in a while. Hold on. Is our house up there still alive? Uh, I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, let's see. All right. And uh, guys, hold on a minute. Uh, I think the tornado kind of hit our house. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's starting to rip our house apart. Uh, I think it's time we oh, get no, down. Oh, no. Guys, guys, get down. Get down. It's going to pull us up. Oh, no. 
Oh, we're back, quick, quick. Everyone to the bunker. Go, go, go. Um, guys, I'm freaking out. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh, guys, we probably should have built a stronger door up there. Oh, no. Uh, it's fine. The obsidian should protect us. Hopefully. Maybe the obsidian's gonna get carried away. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. And oh, no, that thing sounds terrifying. Do you guys hear the wind? And uh, uh, guys, uh, I think it kind of ripped away our trap door. There's literally like rain coming down now. I can see the tornado. Uh, uh-oh. It's fine. The obsidian is super heavy. There's no way it could be picked up. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's just hope for the best. Hold on. I'm putting on some of this armor from the capture of the flag game. We don't have any other types of armor. Oh, yeah, I'm still wearing mine. Oh, good idea. Let's put on the armor. And oh, gosh, uh, guys, that storm sounds super terrifying. And oh, no, I, guys, I, I think the tornado kind of got to our base. It is not safe here. We got to go. Oh, no, we have to go. Oh, no, oh, no, guys, I'm hitting the command block. There we go. The door has opened up. And all right, everyone to the airship, quick. Get in, get in. Uh, okay, hopefully we can fly away unscathed. Here we go, here we go. I'm turning on the airship. And oh, no, so long, chicken. We have to leave all of our animals down here. And all right, let's go. And oh, no, this tornado is still horrifying. My petting zoo. Let's just fly out of here. Come and, on. Right, guys, guys, we're getting sucked up in the tornado. I can't control the airship. Oh, no. <laughs> no way, we're going up. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, come on. We got to fly out of this. Let's go, come on. Oh, and it's snowing now, too. We got to get out of here. Come on, come on here. I'm trying to steer the airship out. This kind of difficult. Let me just go steer this way. Come on and Wait, guys, I, I think we made it out. Let's go. Did we really make it out? I think we should be safe, yes. Whoa. Look at that thing back there. That is scary. Oh, my gosh, let's go. We did it. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.